good morning children how are you all hope you all are safe and fine at home have you ever gone to nursery or park children yes you might have gone what did you observe there you have observed so many plants so what kind of plants you have seen there are different kinds of plants you have seen so you in your previous class you have studied the different characteristics in plants as you studied flower is the reproductive part of the flower not only flower plants also reproduce from different parts and in different ways so do you know how these plants reproduce let us discuss about this in today's lesson that is reproduction in plants this conference will now be recorded our lesson is reproduction in plants up to today's class you will be able to define reproduction understands the importance of reproduction differentiate asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction list out the methods of asexual and sexual reproduction differentiate flowering and non flowering plants see children here this is a picture which is exhibited here identify these plants and write how they grow into new plants they use the words given in the clue box to answer now all of you identify these pictures children what is this first picture you observe properly the color of the leaves and the shape of the leaf and the part which is given here observe it properly and coming to the second picture observe this have you ever seen this it's a vegetable we need this vegetable identify it guess the answer what it could be third picture is also you know which we eat in our curries guess your answer in the next slide we'll see the answers then fourth picture also you observe what is this part it is fruit can anyone tell me what is this fruit yes it is tomato now let us see the answers right now see this children first picture is stems it's a sugar cane children then second one is potato right third one is onion but it is like a bulb shape so it is called as bulbs third fourth one is seeds so these plants reproduce through seeds fourth picture first picture these sugar canes reproduce through stems second picture potatoes reproduce through tubers and onions reproduce through bulbs but uh, tomato plants reproduce through seeds now let us learn about this all in detail in the next slide what is this all now see children what is this picture you are seeing here all these are living organisms see here this is a plant these are uh, this is also here also plants are there and some snake is there and here this is a uh, cockroach and uh, cockroach young one this is and the fourth picture is dog and dog and its baby and here also fishes mm -hmm. are there and here snail and here seed is growing into a plant and here also tomato seeds are there sunflower seeds are there and here a baby and a boy is there all these are living organisms so reproduction is the process by which living things produce young ones of their own kind so what is this process children producing their young ones all these living organisms producing their young ones so this process is called reproduction what is this process reproduction 
why living organisms need to reproduce i repeat the question why living organisms need to reproduce reproduction is necessary for the continuation of generation of particular species otherwise they will become extinct so what do you mean by extinct children extinct means disappearing extinct means disappearing from the earth so if this reproduction is not occurred then the continuation of life will not be there on this earth and that animal or the plant will disappear from the earth so that is why all these living organisms needs to reproduce next reproduction based on the rip uh, producing their young ones they are divided into two parts so what is it a sexual reproduction and sexual reproduction so what do you mean by asexual reproduction so asexual reproduction means here vegetative parts are involved so this reproduction is occurred through root stem and leaves and see the pictures here our few potatoes are there onion is there and some strawberry and uh, some more bulbs uh, is also present in this picture so these are the all the examples of vegetative reproduction a sexual reproduction is also called as vegetative reproduction now sexual reproduction what do you mean by sexual reproduction so in this sexual reproduction means fusion of male and female gametes see here the picture which is shown about the sexual reproduction about this also we will learn in detail in our next slide now asexual reproduction what do you mean by asexual reproduction uh, what did i tell you in the previous slide children asexual reproduction is also called as vegetative propagation the process by which new plants grow from vegetative parts like leaves stem or roots of the parent plant is called asexual reproduction examples bryophyllum potato carrot some more examples are also there see here bryophyllum this is a leaf and this leaf's name is bryophyllum see can you recognize this part what is it potato right see this part children did you recognize this one carrot now let us learn about these parts individually in our next slide now see children here what is the heading reproduction through leaves so how these plants reproduce through leaves can you recognize this plant children this is bryophyllum what is this plant bryophyllum so some plants produce buds in their leaf margin so where is the leaf margin this is a leaf margin so when these leaves get detached from the mother plant and touch the moist soil the buds grow into a new plant see these are the leaves which you are seeing here all these leaves whenever they get detached from the mother plant and touch the moist soil moist soil means wet soil so detached means separating from the mother plant detached means separating so when they get separated from the mother plant and touch the moist soil these buds will grow into a new plant example along with this bryophyllum one more is also there begonia what is it children begonia now see next what is this pictures can you recognize children yes exactly this is potato and this one is ginger and this picture children can you have any guess yes banana plant so what are these all children which part is exhibiting here yes stem so reproduction through stem few plants reproduce through nodes or buds on them so few more few plants reproduce through nodes or buds on the stem so when these buds are planted in the soil they'll grow into a 
new plant see if you cut this part and sow in the soil this small part will uh, from this small part a new plant will grow right children the same way even in this ginger plant also and the banana plant also here you are seeing the sucker right so if you separate it from this mother plant and sow in the soil then it grows into a new plant examples already we have discussed that potato ginger banana along with this some more are like turmeric is also an example of uh, of uh, stem reproduction and already in the beginning we have uh, studied about that uh, sugar cane that is also reproducing through its stem so next see can you recognize this part children already we have seen that is carrot and what is this picture can you recognize beetroot what is this picture sweet potato which part it is children all of you can you have any guess yes exactly it is root so reproduction through root some plants reproduce through roots to grow into new plants so examples already here i have shown you carrot sweet potato mm -hmm. beetroot and some more examples like dahlia is also one more example which reproduces through root children next see here we have seen some pictures over here what is this means along with this vegetative propagation we have some more methods of vegetative propagation but what are those all means these are all artificial methods of vegetative propagation till now we have learned that natural methods these are artificial methods of vegetative propagation the first picture which you are seeing is stem cutting so examples of these stem cutting rose and money plant examples and the second picture shown here is jasmine so example uh, the method is layering layering jasmine and grapevine reproduce through layering method and this is the method is called grafting so many fruit trees like mangoes oranges apples guavas uh, many more plants reproduce through this grafting method so about this all in detail you will learn in your higher classes children okay then see children plants as we have seen in our nursery like there are now many plants and did you all, uh, see all the plants to uh, plants to the plants all the plants no mm -hmm. you have seen plants to some plants and there are no plants to some more plants also so based on the flower flower plants are divided into two flowering plants and non flowering plants flowering plants name itself is telling that they bear flowers okay children flowering plants bear flowers and examples are orange chili tomato apple non flowering plants means the name itself is telling that they do not bear flowers examples pines firs and cedars now in detail we see here flowering plants see the pictures of the flowering plants children can you recognize this plant yeah tomato can you recognize this fruit what you are seeing here chilies right uh, the flowering plants reproduce through seeds okay examples are tomato chilies mangoes these are the examples of flowering plants now what is this heading children non flowering plants so see the pictures of this non flowering plants so what are you seeing here a special structure cones here we are saying that they don't have flowers they have a special structure called cone so they reproduce through this only the seeds will be inside these cones okay so non flowering plants reproduce through cones examples pines firs cedars okay then see here children what is this picture you are seeing this is life cycle of plant see here in flowering plants flower is the reproductive part of the plant and flowers carry out the sexual reproduction flowers grow into fruits fruits have seeds in them this conference will now be recorded 
see the picture here once again here which part you are seeing here seed it is so what is the happening here this is soil the seed is sown in the soil then the seed grown into a small baby plant see here this is the root what you are seeing here which part root and these are the baby leaves and slowly it has grown into a young plant then this young plant grown into a mature plant when the plant has grown into a mature plant then it will have buds and buds will turn up into flowers here you see flowers then the flowers will form into fruits see the children see here the plant is having fruits then the fruits after ripening it will have the seeds and these seeds are ready to grow again so this cycle why it is called as life cycle of plant because it happens continuously like seed from the seed baby plant mature plant flower and fruit again seed so this is continuously happening so this is called that's why it is called life cycle of a plant now in this slide we learn about sexual reproduction so what do you mean by sexual reproduction the process by which plants produce seeds and the seeds grow into new plants is called sexual reproduction examples are tomato uh, tomatoes beans watermelon um, lady's finger these are all the examples of sexual reproduction now you see here picture children seed is sown and then it has been grown into a plant so this is called sexual reproduction the process by which plants produce seeds and the seeds grow into new plant is called sexual reproduction now once we see the words children whatever what are the words we have uh, come across through all these uh, slides reproduction a sexual reproduction sexual reproduction bryophyllum flowering plants non flowering plants reproduction recap once we recap this uh, summary uh, lesson children reproduction is the process by which living things produce young ones of their kind plants reproduce through sexually and sexually plants reproduce asexually through leaves stem and root plants which bear flowers are called non flowering uh, plants which bear flowers are called flowering plants flower is the reproductive part of a plant seeds grow into new plants the life cycle of plant has several stages like seeds young plant mature plant flower and fruit the process by which plants produce seeds and the seeds grow into new plant is called sexual reproduction so till this we have covered or uh, in this session we have covered all these points children in the next class you learn we will learn about some more points in the next lesson in the next class.